May we be the heroes of our story. Doubt, fear, anger, tears, grief and pain are inevitable. The stronger the emotions, the stronger the love. And that's where our stories start, with the love we had for someone close. May we cherish the memories, live and honor that love still growing in our hearts. Project Common Bond provides the opportunity for young adults from all over the globe to come together, to heal, to learn from each other, and most importantly, to become peace builders. These young adults are taking what they learned and making a positive impact in their communities. These are the peace ambassadors of the future. My father passed away in the Navy. My dad died in Iraq. Because I lost my little brother in the shooting. Um, I lost my father in 2005 and I, he died in Iraq. My mom died in the 2017 Barcelona attacks. My father, Joseph J. Pysiewer Jr., was killed in the Pentagon in the September 11th attacks. I lost my brother, my cousin, and my brother-in-law. My dad in 07, he was in the Marines in Iraq. I lost my father and he got killed by terrorists. Um, my father was KIA in Iraq. Since September 11, 2001, hundreds of thousands of individuals have been killed by global terrorism, military conflict, and mass violence. Many have lost their countries in the process and become refugees. We need something that's a positive force, and Project Common Bond is able to be that positive force, specifically working with teens and young adults. The future difference makers in the world are here this week. In the last two decades, Tuesday's Children has linked tens of thousands of family members impacted by tragedy to resilience building programs. Also, it's a place that lets you coping with your stress, your anxiety. Sharing your story is something really important. My company, Teledyne Fleer, we are one of the sponsors of Tuesday's Children and specifically Project Common Bond. Uh, seeing how that loss transcends language. You know? The way you say, how are you in Urdu is, aap kaise ho? Perfect! Great. <laughs> they aren't dependent on having to communicate directly with language. You know, they're doing music. They're doing art, they're doing dance. All of these different ways of interpreting emotion and also processing emotion and grief. We have our web of connection. Very easy to hold a grudge against certain uh, religions, for example. Having like, oh, I win or you lose. No, we, we strive to, to find something where we both win. Project Common Bond can change not only the person or the participants that, that's here, can change a whole community. I think it's important to learn about conflict. That's actually what we're like getting into in our daily groups. It's an amazing feeling that you feel someone struggling and you just draw a, a good road for them. If we don't help each other be negative, we can like make a peace, bring a peace to our world. Maybe if I help you today, you'll help someone else and that someone else will help, will help me one day. Like, we are the people. Like in the Declaration of Independence, we are the people. So we all need to be there for each other. You might be open or you might be open. So just be ready. There is no us and them. It's just us and us. I believe that if you help others, you're helping yourself. I've learned that everyone can make a difference and no matter, no matter how big or small it is, it can have an impact on the world. One thing you can always share between two people, regardless of understanding, is love. And I think it's very important just to hold that close and allow it to keep us unified regardless of conflict. Amidst the rain, there is a rainbow. Behind the clouds, there is sunshine. Amidst the grief, there is healing. Behind the pain, there is love. Amidst the despair, there is a dream. Behind the victim, there is a survivor. Amidst the fear, there are fighters. Behind the tragedy, there are heroes.